As we mentioned, the weather has definitely complicated search efforts. I want to bring in now meteorologist Megan Perry. Can you help us get a look at the conditions crews have been facing in this search area, Megan? Yeah, it's one thing that we are dealing with the very cold temperatures there, low visibility at times, and then the snow on the ground on top of it being such difficult terrain. So I wanted to start with what we were dealing with last night, where this aircraft went down. Temperatures were in the 30s. It was snowing. There was poor visibility and wind gusts in the area were anywhere from about 20 to about 30 miles per hour. Now, as we head into tonight, we're expecting to see more snow. That winter storm warning does cover this area and it is in effect until noon tomorrow above 4,000 feet. We're expecting six to 10 inches of snowfall. That's going to make the search effort even harder for the crews there. And of course, the terrain very difficult as well. Snowfall totals have already been pretty impressive for our mountain areas up to three inches at Pine Hills. In fact, uh, Borrego Springs, Pine Valley have reported snowfall and those elevations are less than 4,000 feet. We could see those snow levels get even lower, even though they're not in that winter storm warning. On top of the snow, the difficult terrain, the cold temperatures, we're also dealing with the wind. The wind is going to be picking up as we head into tonight and tomorrow, and we will see a uh, when the winter storm warning ends, we're going to see a wind advisor go into effect. So still dealing with those winds through the night tomorrow.